flatworms are of a phylum of relatively simple, bilateral, unsegmented, soft-bodied invertebrates. Some classes within the phylum include Turbillaria, Monogenea, Trematoda, and Cestoda. When it comes to species, flatworms come in a great variety. They come in many colors and sizes and can live on land, in salt water, and in fresh water. Some species include Pseudoceros demidatus, Pseudoceros bifurcus, and Pseudobiceros gloriosus. Having a flattened shape allows oxygen and nutrients to pass through their bodies by diffusion. The digestive cavity has only one opening for both feeding and excretion. As a result, the food cannot be processed continuously. Once the food is ingested, the food moves around in the internal system that stretches throughout the body. They eat nutrients from other organisms such as parasites, small organisms, or dead animals. Flatworms absorb oxygen directly through the skin into their body cells. This mechanism is known as cutaneous respiration, skin breathing, or diffusion. Unlike other bilaterians, they are acelomates, which means they have no body cavities and have no specialized circulatory and respiratory organs. Flatworms are able to reproduce asexually and sexually, but sexual reproduction is preferable. If a worm is cut in half, the head of the worm will regenerate a tail and the severed tail will also regenerate a new head, asexually resulting in two flatworms. Flatworms engage in a process of sexual reproduction known as penis fencing. The worm that lays the sperm on the skin of the other does not have to embrace the role of motherhood. The sperm is absorbed through the skin and matures into an egg inside of the worm before being laid in a place of interest. Flatworm has a very simple nervous system with two nerve cords running down either side. It has two simple brains called ganglia, which are simple bundles of nerves. Flatworms use their nervous system and eyes to detect stimuli in the environment. They were one of the first organisms to have eyes that told them the intensity and the direction of light. The nervous system tells the organism to use extensive muscular systems to move cilia under their body to where it wants to go. Utilizing a slime coating covering their entire body, they can swim in water and move across land at ease. All flatworms have bilateral symmetry. As stated before, flatworms have an incomplete digestive system with only one opening. Due to this, they eat and expel waste from the same opening. They also have a simple brain and nervous system, which creates a head area and eye spots that are able to sense light. They move by contracting muscle cells or the movement of tiny hair-like structures on the body called cilia. basic process of cell division, flatworms are able to regenerate missing pieces of their bodies. Without regeneration abilities, losing part of their bodies could be fatal. This adaptation also provides another form of asexual reproduction. Also, parasitic flatworms have hooks on their mouths that allow them to securely attach to their hosts. Since the worms are eating the food the host has already digested, this allows the flatworms to put their energy into reproduction. The life cycles of free living forms are relatively simple. Fertilized eggs are laid singly or in batches. After a period of embryonic development, free swimming larvae or minute worms emerge.
some tapeworms are longer than a school bus. Most flatworms are both male and female. Flatworms are sometimes used to control invasive species.